first day of summer break, and here's what's going on. Yeah. 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 I hope you're not showing my uh, no. shorts. <laughs> boom, boom, kick that boom, 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 play, 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 Nana and Papa are back from their trip. Thank goodness. <laughs> the village has returned. The village has returned. And we have the Nina village. Cash, are you excited for summer break? No, no more school? No. What grade are you going to be in next year? First grade. First grade. How about this one? Yeah, I'm in. I'm in very pre-school. <laughs> the pre of pre. Pre pre preschool. Pre pre preschool. Wait, mom, I know. I can't hold up my hands. and then it's like no, it's like it's a stuff. Why no? It's like no. Wait, wait, wait. Watch. Hold on. I'm gonna do something sciencey. Ready? Don't move. Scientific. Don't move. Cash is funny. You'll like it. Did you ever have that done before? Stuck on your head. Well, look at the mirror. Your hair is standing straight up. Stuck to your head. Stuck like glue. You and me, baby, we're stuck like glue. We saved ours for different reasons. Put it up in the top of the cupboard. You want to come with me? Do, do, do. Yeah, because I got to do a little bit of work. Okay. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, 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 what? You don't want Nana to work. Mom, I have an idea. Oh. Mom. You don't want Nana. <laughs> You don't want Nana to go work? You want to stay with her? No? Mom, yes? Not sure. Mm. Is that what you wanted? She just wants to sit up, honey. That's what it is. Mm. Is that what you wanted? I'm trying to get this cash. Like this? Peeky boo! I'm going to take all this stuff with me. Cash so is trying to learn how to hold the baby. Yeah. Oh, you guys are gonna do that? I was just gonna get dressed. Are you gonna do that with him or me? Yeah, let me just get this out here. Okay. This is the current state of my bedroom, including a river dog, including laundry baskets everywhere, an unmade bed. All right, so it is Friday, May 24th. Yes, May 24th, it's nine in the morning and we all just kind of got up. Um, when I say we, I mean he and I. And today is the official first day of summer vacation, no more school, but for me, that means that I have a lot to do because I've been on maternity leave for two months and I have to go check out my classroom. So even though I'm on maternity leave, my sub is not responsible for checking out my classroom, I am. So my mom and I and Wayne are gonna head over there today and we're gonna do a little bit of classroom checkout. There's not a whole ton of things I need to do. It's nothing like my last couple of schools where you have to run around and get a bunch of signatures and then you get your paycheck. No, it's not like that. You just get the things done, you hand it in, and then you go, and we all got direct deposited. So um, one of the biggest tasks that we have to accomplish today is checking in and inventorying all of the technology. So all of the Chromebooks, the computer, the TV, um, just writing down the serial numbers and putting if any damages were done or if they need any maintenance. So it shouldn't take too, too long. Um, but mom and I and Wayne are going to hang out, are, are going to head over there a little bit later. Um, we've got to drop my husband's truck off for an oil change. And then tonight, <laughs> tonight we're going to go to an all-star Little League baseball game that a couple of fourth graders I know are playing in. And Cash just really wants to go and watch them. So we're going to go watch them play baseball and make a night of it. Um, probably not going to do any tidying up in here because I've decided that... Um, my house is probably going to be done in August and I'm just going to live in this room and stop worrying about keeping it clean because I'm busting my butt almost every day to try and organize it and keep it clean and it just isn't staying clean or organized. So I'm like, what's the point? I'm, I'm over it. You know, 
Um, I'll keep the clean laundry separated from the, the dirty laundry, and if I have time, I'll put laundry away. But I'm just so done, like, trying to make this place look good. I mean, look at this place. It's a disaster, okay? These are all my husband's laundry. What's the matter? Why is it grouchy? Okay, all my husband's laundry. This is mine and the baby's laundry. To be fair, most of this is clean and just needs to be put away. There's just stuff everywhere. And it's okay because this is the real deal. I am in the trenches of early motherhood with a newborn who is nine weeks old today. And last night was the first night that I got like four hour stretch of sleep. So I'm feeling energized. Fun fact though, I'm still not drinking any coffee. I'm having a little bit of caffeine here and there through like iced tea when we go out to eat, but no caffeine other than that. I'm too afraid it's gonna hurt his belly. So anyway, first things first today, we're gonna eat some breakfast. I'm gonna make myself feel presentable and then we're gonna head out to the classroom. We might stop at the job site too, so be ready for an update there. All right, here is what I'm having for breakfast. A salmon lox bagel with some watermelon and a body armor light. Can you eat that banana? No, I'm gonna do where he is more content being put in containers like bouncers and swings. And so I can get a little bit more done um, in the day and, and in my appearance <laughs> when I wanna go do things, um, like get my makeup done or not get my makeup done, but do my makeup or like do something with my appearance in the morning, hair, makeup, get dressed and actually look presentable. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to get ready for the day. I'm going to use only a couple of products because I'm doing very minimal lately. Um, so I'm going to use my glow screen as my like foundation and then I will go in with my merit. Um, I think this is called a highlighting balm. Um, looks like this. If you guys are interested in trying any Merit products, I do have a little coupon code that I will put in the description box below. I love this one. It's like a nice bronzy color, so I can kind of get away with using it as like a bronzer. Then, <laughs> this thing is not gonna stay. Okay, we're changing angles here because camera problems. Then I'm gonna use my Thrive Mascara and probably nothing else, just because I don't really feel I'm having really good skin right now, probably because I'm breastfeeding, um, but I'm not really needing anything else. My skin has some pretty natural rose pigmentation, as you can see. I do have rosacea, and then I do have some like acne scarring, and I have a very uneven skin tone, um, but I'm just kind of rolling with it and letting it be, um, rather than caking myself with makeup for no reason. Like if I'm gonna go out and do something fun, where I want to like look really cute for pictures or something then I'll do a full face of makeup but for today I'm just gonna go minimal. This is a great sunscreen SPF option.
here is the finished um, look in the big bright bathroom lights. So now my favorite part of the day, I'm gonna choose which glasses I'm gonna wear. So I am partnering up with Pear Eyewear in this video, and I wanted to show you guys my new set of frames from Pear, and they look like this. This is the Casper. If you guys forgot, <laughs> my other pair is the Murphy. They're a little bit thicker, um, not thicker, but I guess like wider and a little bit bigger. Um, but I did get a new pair of glasses from Pear and they're called the Casper. I'll try them on for you guys. So they look like this. They're a little bit thinner than I typically go for, but I wanted to try out the thinner, more like, I don't know, smaller look for this time. Um, and so I'll show you guys the tops that I picked. If you guys have never tried pair eyewear, you have to go check them out. It's really an ingenious idea. It makes you wearing glasses so easy. If you are stuck wearing glasses forever like I am, but you like to like mix it up a little bit and have them match your clothing or have a little bit of style with each pair, then pair eyewear is a really good option for you because you get to change your style as much as you want. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys the tops that I picked for this pair. So I went with the classic black uh, sun top because um, you always need to have a sunglass option, I feel, especially in Arizona where it's super bright all the time. So I did get this uh, basic black top sunglass. Then I went for a really cute like black and white leopard print. I thought that would be really fun for school because our colors are black, white, and red. So I thought this would be great for like spirit day. Um, so I grabbed that pair. And then I also grabbed a couple of basics. I did the tortoise shell like I always do because you just never know, like this is a basic go-to. And then the basic black, another go-to just a easy way to change up your style. I always tend to feel like I gravitate towards these in my Murphy pair um, because they're just so simple. And then a couple of fun ones. I got hot pink. I thought that would be really fun for summer. And then I also got white, which is another really basic um, color, but very like it pops. It looks really nice, especially with a good summer tan. Um, and so what I really love about pair eyewear is they have so many different top options, like so many collabs, like Friends, Star Wars, DC, Marvel, Harry Potter. Um, there's a different top for every holiday. I just think that's such a good idea because instead of having to buy a bunch of different frames and then having to change the frames every day, I'm just changing the top and it's just so smart. Um, I used to get so many headaches too when I would change like my frames. And I'll be honest with you, when I change from frame to frame using pair, I am gonna get a little bit of a headache for about a day. But once I get over that hump, then I can at least just wear one pair for a while and just change the tops out. And I don't have to keep changing the frames out every other day and the headache lasts forever. So anyway, again, this is the Casper, a nice, really thin um, pair. And then I also have the Murphy, which is my absolute favorite. I love a big, thick, chunky frame. I just feel like it really fits my face well. I do have a pretty big um, face. And um, I've tried these on for you guys before, but I'll just show you. These are only a couple. I know I have a, a couple more sunglass ones, but these are the pair um, the options I have for my Murphy. They're so cute. Um, so if you guys have never tried pair before, make sure you do. I do have a coupon code linked down in the description box below so that you guys can try pair. Um, you do get a percentage off of your first frames and um, I will also show you guys, it's so simple. You just jump on the website. You're going to pick your base frame and the color of the frame you want. It's great, they come in like blue and black and clear and pink and tortoise. Um, you really just have so many options for your base pair. And then you go and you pick your tops and you can pick and choose as many tops as you want. I'm actually thinking about going through another time and grabbing a couple of different holiday pieces for when we go back to school. Um, There's some schooly ones that I wanna get. So for today, I think I am gonna stick with Murphy because I don't wanna get a headache. And um, just looking at my outfit, I think I'm gonna go with Tortoise. 
because it is kind of like a simple, like natural vibe that I'm going for today. Um, but anyway, so you pick your base pair, you choose all your tops, you upload a photo of your prescription, and then you make a selection on any specialty um, things you want about your prescription, and then you upload, and within a couple weeks, you have your glasses. So anyway, if you guys have not checked out Pear Eyewear, make sure you do. It will be linked right at the top of this video in the description. And if you use my link, you will get a good percentage off of your first set um, or first pair of eyewear. So you guys head on over there, check it out. You will absolutely love it um, if you're a glasses girly like me. And um, if you do wear glasses, please comment the glasses emoji or the eyeballs down below. I'd love to know where my glasses girlies are. All right, you guys, we are getting in the car. We're gonna head to school. Actually, I think we're gonna go to the job site first and check in because my father-in-law, I guess he's my father, one of my father-in-laws, <laughs> Scott's biological father is doing our plumbing and he is here right now. Did and the dogs get back in for a reason? Like, yeah, dad brought them back in. Oh, because of the because he, tub? Yeah. Oh shoot, I gotta go get him back in now. Oh, okay. So, this thing leaks, or did I just put it on? Oh, uh, you put it on wrong. Okay, here. I'm just gonna put the lid on the whole way. But that's what I thought, I thought, oh shoot, I better ask. Um, Hold on. Anyway, my fa one of my father-in-laws is doing our plumbing and he is here now. So mom wants to go over to the job site and just check, make sure he understands a couple of things because we have um, vanities instead of counters in our like counters and cabinets in our bathrooms. And so she wants to just make sure he knows like what height to put everything. And then we're gonna head over to school and check out my classroom, which I don't have that much to do, like I mentioned earlier. So. I'm going to take you guys with us, and um, at some point, this little guy is going to wake up and need to be fed. Um, so it's going to be kind of a process, but we brought a couple of little, like, toys and things to try and keep him entertained if he does wake up. So the purpose of my mom coming is so that she can maintain the baby while I work. Oh, and his... How many beverages you got, lady? Well, I'm trying to finish my coffee from this morning. <laughs> and I know I need water for... We're going to be over there for a while, I'm right? Just you... I hope those frogs got taken. Yeah. I have to bring so plants for me. Two. Just two plants. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where will we put them? In the no back seat. Knows. In your room, maybe? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Are you talking to me? here at school and my sub did a pretty good job at moving things around so that's awesome 
Um, so this is my list that I need to get done. Um, and pretty much everything goes to the front office. So the thing that's gonna take me the longest is the electronics. So I'm gonna work on that. <laughs> Are you stuck? I had my glasses stuck in my hair and I was doing <laughs> And here is the after of the cleanup. So we didn't do a ton, like I'm not gonna go through and organize stuff because that just seems silly. But I did get most, as much as I could off of the floor, like the fridge obviously can't get moved. Um, and then we pushed everything against the wall here. So the room is ready for summer. I am not moving schools. I am not moving classrooms and I am not moving grade levels for next year, but I am gaining a subject. I am going to be teaching fourth grade reading, science and social studies next year. And then Jocelyn, my next door neighbor is going to be teaching math and writing and grammar. And then um, we have a wonderful, wonderful girl coming up from the kinder through second grade math um, lab position, and she's going to be taking on a self-contained fourth grade class. So she'll be teaching all subjects to her own group, and then Jocelyn and I will share kids, and we will rotate students. So I'm planning on integrating a lot of science and social studies into reading, and um, uh, trying to juggle all three. So it'll be really fun and very interesting. I haven't taught fourth grade reading in like four or five years now. Um, actually, I think it's been since 2016 that I taught fourth grade reading because I've always, I taught third grade for two years and then just fourth grade science social studies. So it's been a while since I taught reading, but it's, it's kind of like a walk in the park. Um, and especially teaching fourth grade still, like I still see them and all their standards every day. Like we talk about them in science social studies to support. So anyway, I'm gonna close the room down for the summer. Thank you mother for all of your help. <laughs> and we will see this place again in July. You just brought your cool shit, <gasps> cash? Oh yeah. Oh, they're in, oh, his, they're back. in his backpack. Well, mom? Okay, so we're heading to Little League Baseball. Sure wore your hat too, your diamond back hat. I'm squished in the back between the two boys. That's in the back too, huh? Ow. What are you doing? Muscles up, I'm just filming. What are you filming? So we are going to this Little League game purely because we want Cash to watch how the bigger kids play so that he can improve. Right? No. Yes. 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 All right, you guys, we are back for the day. <laughs> that was super fun. We went and watched um, the little leaguers play baseball. I got to see um, three of my students play and that was really fun to watch. And then we ended up going out for dinner with Scott's father because he's here working on the house and um, we had Mexican food, it was delicious. So we are gonna just go ahead and end the vlog here and get ready for bed. Um, I'm thinking about potentially doing like a nighttime baby routine video, but I don't know if anyone would be interested in that. So comment down below if you would. Oh. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.